So let me open up this video with a question. Do we seriously live in a society where anything can offend anyone, no matter how innocent or wholesome it may be? Well, in my honest opinion, the answer is yes. We seemingly live in times where anyone can take even the most minuscule and non-existent things and spin a big story about how offended they are while screeching into the void just to get a drop of attention. It's really pathetic and honestly makes me wonder if people like these have an IQ below room temperature and wet napkin-like skin because based on how they act, that seems to be the case. Now, let's jump into the subject of this video. So on February 18th, Pokemon released its newest episode of the Pokemon Twilight Wings series, and it heavily focused on Bia, the fighting type gym leader in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now, in this particular episode, we got to learn more about Bia and how she trains. I even did a review of this episode, and I thought this episode was fantastic. And I honestly couldn't think of anything noticeable that warranted any criticisms. However, despite all of that, this here garnered some attention. So much so, Kotaku actually wrote an article basically highlighting the Pokemon company being accused of whitewashing. Yeah. Anyone who can rub two brain cells together and know how lighting works can tell this is obviously bogus and that there was no whitewashing done here at all. Either those who complained seriously, seriously don't know how arts and animations work, or they did this just to troll and stir the pot for a drop of clout. So the article goes to showcase that Bia takes on a tanned appearance in the Pokemon Sword and Shield games. First off, unlike Nessa, Bia is not portrayed as a person of color. Second, you notice that Bia appeared darker in the games because she is not exposed to bright sunlight and is inside the gym. On that note, the games are not really known for changing one's complexion, skin tone, etc. based on the lighting of an area, whether it's from a natural source like the sun or from the likes of lights. We can clearly see that the reason Bia takes on a lighter appearance overall is because she is outside in the bright sunlight. It's not just her skin that appears lighter, but her hair and clothing all take on a brighter appearance. This right here is nothing more than a straw grasp. Let's go over something here that Manga Common tweeted about regarding this incident. And Manga Common, might I add, actually knows a thing or several about arts and animations. So he tweets out, and I quote, So people are claiming that there's whitewashing happening again in Pokemon. Huh, would you look at that? Her hair's lighter, her skin's lighter, her clothes are lighter. Do people really not understand lighting? And we also have ourselves some images showcased from the Kotaku article to further illustrate his point. He then goes on to reply to his own tweet by stating, Oh, would you look at that? In darker lighting, she's back to her standard colors. I'm not as mad at this since it's not attacking artists specifically for making fan art, but this is still very stupid. Break out the booze and look at this. Oh! Look at that! She's got a much darker appearance because she's inside a cave. He also goes on to reply by stating, Look, I don't like whitewashing, but folks, this ain't whitewashing, and complaining about these sorts of things actually hurts cases of whitewashing since it waters down the issue. And he finishes off his thread by stating, Even in the first shot, you can see that she's got her standard colors. It's dependent on the lighting, and look at that. Case and point. So, I rest my case here. This whole thing is all because of lighting, and people cried about Pokemon whitewashing a character. People seriously need to understand that not only is this untrue in every way, but this also waters down the actual issues surrounded by whitewashing. I am against whitewashing, but the more people complain about whitewashing when it didn't actually happen, the more I think about the boy who cried wolf scenario. I think you guys know where I'm headed with this. 
Now, I don't think there's much more to say here about this particular issue, but let me show you a real example of whitewashing. What we have here is a mod where it takes Nessa, who is a person of color, and outright whitewashes her. That is an example of whitewashing. There was no whitewashing here in Bia's case. It was just the lighting and location that changed her tone overall. Stop complaining and grow up. Anyways, guys, that's going to be a wrap up here for this video, but allow you boy to end things off with a compilation of tweets that also shows just how full of shit this whole thing is. Cue the montage.